everyone, it's Liberty from My Pen Addiction, and today I will be reviewing the Stedler 432 Ballpoint Pens, the 10 count package. So I purchased these at Office Depot, I believe. I will state the price in a little bit. And they are just Stedler Ballpoint Pens. So they are triangular shaped with 10 different colors, super smooth writing, medium line width, cap tip, and end plug in writing color. So that is the benefits to this pen. So I'm gonna swatch and test it out on cardstock and printer paper. So as I'm filming this video, I looked up the price. They're around $5 at Staples right now, but that may be because they're on sale. I remember kind of them being within that five to $10 range, but I cannot exactly remember how much they cost, but they do go on sale frequently and they are on Amazon, but as of now they're sold out. So I'm going to first show you the swatches that I have already pre-done and then we will do the dry time testing. As you can see, they are a triangular barrel. So that is a very ergonomic shape for a pen. And on it, it just says the brand name and that they're the ballpoint 432 pens medium. And then, so when you open it, there's not much of a grip on here. You open it, it's just a medium sized tip. It doesn't look like it has a cap, but I think the cap is inside the pen. So it's like a inside the cap of the pen. So here's all the color swatches and I have quite a few comments. So they're overall, they're very comfortable to hold. Nice. They definitely have to be broken in because this is, has some skippage in it, but I think it's because the pen wasn't broken in. Some colors worked a lot better than others. Some colors did not show up even close to the barrel color. Or I'll explain by showing you right now. So the black took quite a bit to like get it to be more solid and I think there was still some skipping but the harder you press the more the color shows up but also they're brand new so you, they need to be broken in. Some colors were much brighter. The brightest ones definitely were the pink. Um, I expected this green color, this bright green to be a little brighter. It's not that bright. This one this dark blue looking pen, it's purple, like straight up purple, like not even somewhat blue. So that really threw me off. The red, definitely a red pen. I don't even know how that would somewhat be red. It is pink, 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 pink. So that's the things I was most surprised about. But I did like, these pens because they are comfortable to hold. Even though they did have some skipping, I think it's because they need to be broken in, to be honest, because they did write extremely smoothly. It didn't show up on the back, which is good. And that's the swatches. So I'm gonna show you on printer paper and we can do a dry time test. So I'm gonna do these four colors with the dry test. And then this is printer paper. So I'm just gonna write pen today because it's a long name. It did smudge towards the end. Where the pen always drops and picks up, I think is always where most pens will smudge. So let me try it again, just to make sure. Yeah, all right, so I'm gonna give it three seconds. And it's still smudged, so I'm gonna give it five. Five, it's about done. And it skipped a lot less than when we started, which means it is a breaking in thing. Again, very comfortable to hold. And also in my videos, when I, if it's time lapse through the drying process, it is always still that time I just try to fast forward it because it's boring. Black totally smudged quite a bit right away. So let's give this one five seconds. It's still smudged after five. So let's give it 10. And the harder you press, it's gonna smudge more. That's inevitable. 10 seconds, it's still a little, so I'm gonna give it like 12. Okay, so the black took the longest, it was about 12 seconds, I'd say 10 to 12, depending on how hard you press. I just try to always, whenever I'm swatching or dry testing, I always do my normal, like, my normal pressure. So here's this green, which you can tell, if I just do that once, you can barely see it. So like this one, I needed to like really press to even get the color to show up. So it didn't smudge because like 
there's barely any pigment. So I don't know if this is one is just like not a good pen like I got a bad one or is it just this bright color but I'm not this mad about it because it doesn't take any time to dry it but also to be honest with you I would never use this color most likely unless I'm like coloring because it's not just it's just not something that you use all the time so I'd be okay with it see the pink that's super light it did a, skip a little but I barely touched it and it was almost dry so I'd say I'd give it one two three and it's dry in three. So the lighter colors definitely dry quicker. The darker colors take the longest, which is a normal thing for pens. And so it ranged from zero to 12 seconds. So like there's a big range. And it depends on what colors are you actually gonna use. Cause I know you don't have to get a 10 piece set of this. Like it makes sense, if it makes sense for you. Now we're gonna do a dry time on cardstock. I'm gonna do the same four colors again because it's gonna be consistent, but I'm gonna start with black because that's the first one I grabbed. It It's writing smoother every time it did smudge. Okay, that's not focus. Pardon my focusing. It's like, it, it barely smudged. It smudged less than on the printer paper, which is normal. Take in the ink. That was three seconds. It's not dry, so I'm gonna try five. Five is almost dry. I'm gonna try like seven. Seven, it's dry. So see, between seven and 10 to 12, there's a big difference, and that's because of the porous cardstock allows the ink to sink further into the paper, which normally means it has a quicker dry time because it, the ink sinks into the paper. But sometimes, with some pens, it's not like that because they sit at the top of the surface. So the blue already smudged a lot less after one second, so I'm gonna give it three seconds. Three seconds it's done compared to five and so it's not dark blue unless I press really hard because it's a yellow paper makes sense it doesn't show up on camera too blue but like you can tell next we're gonna do the green again this one it's writing better every time it's writing more every time I doubt it'll smudge in the first place even if I barely write it's super light yeah it's no smudging okay which is good it's a light color the pink one smudged a little bit right after. Three, it's done. Let me try it one more time. Maybe I pressed too hard. Yeah, I'd say one to three just in case. I feel like I pressed a little hard on this compared to what I would normally do. So it's either, most of them are quicker for sure on cardstock. So that's always better, but are you gonna use this? You have to think about what you're gonna be using it for, when you're gonna use it, and like what colors you need and things like that. Because every pen is different for a different person. I may hate something that you love, and that's good if it works for you. If it doesn't work for you, it works for other people. Okay, so I'm going to give my final thoughts and give my rating. So I'm going to rate these. I was going between a 6 and a 7, so I'm going to give a 6.5. And I have reasons for taking points, and I have reasons for adding points. The biggest reason why it's higher points than, like, because of the cons of the pen is because the price point. If you can find them for around $5, I think that's very reasonable. For 10 pens, $5, 50 cents each, that's kind of what you, you get, what you pay for. Also, Stedler pens are known to be good, so I could tell they get better as you break them in. Another thing that I'm going to add points for is because they were extremely smooth. The triangular grip is very comfortable. Also, I like the packaging as how it's all held together very nicely and well organized. What I'm taking away points for is things like the color discrepancies, such as the blue and the red, because they're not blue and red, or they're not super blue or super red. Also, this green one, it's just not that great of a color payoff. Another thing is there was quite a bit of smudging, but it's nothing crazy, like pens do that. Another thing is there wasn't much that shows up on the back, which is nice. But the skipping did take away a couple points, but I understand that it gets better. So that's why I'm giving it a 6.5. But you also have to think, will these work for what you want and what do you like? What do you prefer? Are you gonna be annoyed by that? So it's more of a, that's how I see it. So like, I would normally take these points away, but since this 
is why, so since it's comfortable, since they're working better as I go, that's why I'm adding points. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll link these pens down below. There is no affiliate link unless stated. These will not be affiliated. I purchased them with my own money. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment down below what pens or writing instruments you want me to review. And please, please, please subscribe and click that little notification bell so you stay updated on whenever I post. Also, I am sorry for the break. I've been so inconsistent. I've been sick. There's been finals. It's been a mess. So thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.